What's going on all my hopefuls? This is JC Flames and today I'm going to show you how to upload a song to United Masters using your mobile phone, all right? In case you guys are unfamiliar with what United Masters is, it's a distribution platform that helps artists like myself and hopefully you if you're watching, all right? So stick around. Let's go. All right, guys. So one of the first things you're gonna wanna do is download the app if you do not have it. Now, I believe it is for Droid as well as iOS, but for the sake of this video, since I do have an iPhone, I'm gonna be doing the tutorial in iOS, but it's pretty much the same with the Droid process as far as I know, even if the app is not available, you could still go on the internet browser and do the same process. So I'm not too sure if they do have the app available for Droid, but I believe so. But again, it'll just be the same process, but you just have to do it on the internet browser on your phone, right? So once you do that, go to the App Store, go ahead and download it. Then you're gonna wanna sign in, right? And as you can see, um, over here, I already signed in. I'm already signed in because I have the mobile app and I'm already signed into it pretty much every day, all day. So as soon as you see that, um, that you're signed in, then you're gonna go to the bottom right corner to the little, the small little guy, the little profile guy, all right? And you're gonna click on that and that's gonna show your profile. Now, once you do that, then you're gonna click on, as you can see in that yellow, orangish, weird gold color, it's gonna say plus new release. I mean, just add new release. So go ahead and click on that. And once you do so, Go ahead and type the title of your song, all right? And mine right here, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm actually going to upload my If I Were Signed song that's already out. If you guys haven't checked that out, please do so, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and type in If I Were Signed, all right? And then you're gonna select your cover art. Hopefully you have it saved on your phone, you guys. Please make sure you do. Please also make sure that it's not blurry, it's not pixelated or anything. Mind you, everybody's gonna see this, all right? So go ahead and upload that. And once you do so, then you're gonna upload your track. All right, so I did wanna do this tutorial for iOS because I know it's a little harder compared to Droid, even if you're using the internet browser on your Droid, to upload your song. It's very easy on Droid phones to save files, but on iOS, it's a little different on iPhones, all right? In case you guys don't know what I'm talking about. On iPhones, it's a little bit of a different process. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and open up another tab. Go to your email. As you can see, I'm already at my email. And I already have the song sent from the engineer himself. He emailed it to me. It was an MP3 file. Make sure it is an MP3 or WAV file, you guys. Once I click on it, go ahead and click that Save button. And as soon as you click the Save button, it's gonna ask you what you're going to save it to, and it's gonna be your iCloud Drive, all right? And in, in case you guys don't know, this is how you save a lot of files. So once you click on that to for the Save button, you're gonna go ahead and click on Save Files. Click on Save Files, and make sure you just pick a folder. Now, for the sake of this video, as well as whenever I upload anything, I click on the download folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that download folder. And as soon as you do that, you click on save, I believe. It's all the way to the right upper corner. As soon as you click on that, go ahead and go to a separate tab. And that's when you're actually going to upload the song. So once you click on upload a track, do so, upload it. And you can see there's gonna be a small little loading circle on the left, right? Uh, once it's done, you guys are gonna see an exclamation point. So that means it's not done, right? That means that it uploaded the song, but there's still information you need to fill out there. So click on the song itself for the uploaded track, and then you're gonna decide whether it's explicit or not. Now for my track, it is explicit. And once you do that, you're gonna click on add writers names. All right, so you're gonna add all the writers that was in it. Me, I just wrote the song as far as the lyrics, all right? so. I'm gonna go ahead and type in my, my name and it's actually gonna ask you for your legal name. That's because they want to make sure that they get the royalties correct. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and put JC Flames. All right, so after you're done with that, now the next row you're gonna fill out is add producers names. All right, you guys. Now when you do add that, 
make sure it is all the producers that are involved, all right? Anybody who's sampling or anything like that, you're gonna wanna add everybody that was involved in the producing making process, all right? So for me, it's After Sleep. I'm gonna go ahead and add him, type in his name. Now, the next row is gonna be on splits, all right? So this is very important, you guys, because I get a lot of comments about this. For splits, you're gonna wanna actually split the profits with any other producer. Now with me, I do produce my own music, but sometimes, especially for this track, I do actually seek out other beats from other producers, I pay for them or whatnot. Now since I do not own this beat, I'm gonna have to split it for him. And, and it's always written in your guys' contract, even if you buy it from a website, it's gonna say after a certain amount of streams, you're expected to pay that producer. So that's when you're gonna wanna fill out for the splits the actual name. Now, here's the kicker, you guys. When you click on splits, you must be a select membership, all right? You must have the actual paid membership in order to split the profits accordingly. Now, unless you're just like me or other people out there, artists who actually produce, write, engineer, and arrange your own music, you're gonna have to have the select membership, which is the paid membership, not the free membership, all right? And once you do that, then you have the choice to add them to the splits. Now, with limited release, that means it's the free version. It's limited release, that means it's the free version. Again, if you're not buying beats or seeking out other engineers and stuff like that, you're okay on the free version. That's why I always recommend you guys to use the paid version, all right? I know you guys are trying to save money, things of that nature, I get it, but come on, you guys. If you wanna split the royalties with that producer or engineer or other songwriters, please get the paid membership. I'm telling you, it's gonna help you in the long run. And remember, this is your investment. If you do not do so, disclaimer, and you don't give the right credit and your song starts to pop off and get a certain amount of streams, they're gonna find you and they're gonna find out somebody is going to, and if they do, they can take you to court, you guys, and this can be way more money that you're gonna have to pay in the long run. And that's not only bad for your name, bad for you as an artist, but also you're gonna have to pay that money back, you guys, even if you have to pay lawyers or you have to pay them back for that. So please do yourself a favor, Get the paid membership, you guys. All right, now for the sake of this video, because I do wanna show you guys the options, we're gonna click on the limited uh, membership. We're actually gonna proceed with that. So it's gonna ask you too if it's an instrumental or not. This is not an instrumental, so go ahead and click out of that. All right, for the next part, it's gonna say click on new release or re-release. This is a new release for me, hypothetically. Of course, I already released a song, but let's just say it's a new release. So let's click on that. For the next step, you're gonna fill out the label name, all right, for the next row. And that's gonna be if you actually own your own label or you're signed to an independent label. Obviously, if you're signed to someone like Universal or like a huge label, Def Jam or anything like that, they're gonna be doing all this stuff for you guys, all right? This is for all independent artists, all right? But for me, I do have my own uh, label. I'm under my own LLC, so I'm gonna go ahead and type in the anonymous LLC. All right, now for the next step, we're gonna click on next, which is gonna be the upper right corner. Click on next. Now for this next step, it's gonna ask you to choose your royalty deal. All right, guys, now here's the kicker again. There's two choices. Either the first one is for the select memberships. Again, that's the paid version. It's gonna ask you if you want to click on that, it's gonna ask you if you have not yet paid for the membership. And that's where you keep 100% of your royalties. That means every single thing you keep. But again, you're gonna have to pay for that membership, all right? Now, for the free one, that's the limited, it's going to actually, that's where you keep 90% of the royalty streams. That means you keep only 90% of your streams, and then they keep the 10%. And mind you, you guys, every single platform pays different, I mean, uh, Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, all those. Spotify, it's 0 0.003 cents a stream. That's a fraction of a cent, all right, you guys? So meaning, that fraction of that cent, as well as 10% of that, United Masters is gonna keep. All right, so just keep that in mind. Again, they're trying to encourage you, hey, use our paid membership, it's better for you. Now, I usually don't recommend using the limited free version 
because of this next step you're going to see, as well as if you're sharing songwriting credits, if you have other producers in the room or anybody else who's working on your music with you, which is okay, you guys, then that means you're still going to have to split it with them. If you're getting 100% of the royalties, either you have to pay them separately from the actual distribution, which is United Masters, or if you do not do that and you keep all the streaming income, you're going to get sued, all right? Um, so if you're on the limited free version, just make sure that you're doing everything yourself, okay? So you don't have to worry about other people. But like I said, it's up to you guys. It's your songwriting journey, all right? I personally, I use producers here and there. I have people write music with me sometimes, like a hook or two. But I, it does not matter, you guys, as long as the music sounds really good and you're helping yourself in your independent career, all right? But please save yourself some time and also some legalities and some trouble because later on you can get in trouble for this, all right? So just keep that in mind, free version 90% and they keep 10%. Select version is gonna be 100%. Now, for the sake of this video, again, we're just gonna go ahead and click as if it's the free limited version. And once you go to that version, you click on that, again, let's say you have the free version, it's gonna also tell you that there is a difference when it comes to the platforms. Now, with the select version, they're gonna actually distribute your music all across. That means all platforms like YouTube, Vivo, I think it even has Tesla in there, which is, which is crazy. I don't know how so, I think it's just on the actual screen on the dashboard. If you guys know what that actually means, let me know in the comments below, I believe so, but um, also XM Radio, which is pretty cool. That's another opportunity for you guys, um, as well as Tidal and other streaming platforms. It's all of them, you guys. Now, with the free one, it's only going to be available on Spotify, Apple Music, and YouTube. So keep that in mind, you guys, as well. If you're trying to cut costs on all those things, not only will you be limited to those three ver those three platforms that you're distributing your music on, so it makes it harder for people to find you, but also you're gonna actually have the 90-10% membership, which means that you're only getting paid that 90% of your streams and they're getting 10%. So again, you guys, I don't recommend it. Please use the select paid membership. Um, and now with the next step, you're actually gonna click yes or no if you already have any kind of uh, platform artist profiles. So for me, I went ahead and connected my Spotify artist profile since I've already released music, as well as my Apple Music profile, as you can see. And I connected them. It's okay if you guys don't, you'll just click no. If you don't have any artist profile, that means if you have not released any music, this is your first time on your mobile phone. Go ahead and click no, that's fine. Now, for the next step, you're gonna go ahead and actually choose whether or not you wanna purchase this, which is the Dolby mastered version that means that if um you know like such platforms as title or apple music they offer this different type of version of your song which means that it's kind of like a surround sound mastered type of high definition quality song that they're gonna go ahead and release your um version as so if you guys want that go ahead but it'll be it'll cost extra 499 even if you're on that limited free version all right, or you just skip it. So let's go ahead and skip it. Now for the next part, it's gonna go ahead and ask you for your release date, which I always recommend you guys, again, at least four to six weeks. Trust me, four to six weeks, because even if you guys wanna get on any kind of editorial playlist on Spotify, they have time to check your track out, check out the story, all those things when you pitch your song, all right? Now, if you guys do not know how to do that, pitch your song to Spotify to have a chance to be on their editorial playlist, click on the link above and I'll show you guys through another video, all right? Check that out. But anyway, select your release date. As soon as you're done, last but not least, you guys, click on that button on the bottom that says submit and you're good to go, you guys. Just kick back, watch your um, actual release date come closer and closer. Promote your song as much as you can, and once that song is released, go ahead and push it on your socials, you guys. If you guys have any other videos you want to see or anything like that or any questions, please hit me up in the comments below. Also, hit that like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, stay up to date on more videos, you guys. Now, I'm going to try to do one soon on TuneCore and how to upload your song 
on the mobile version, all right? I know it was giving me some uh, issues this past week, so I'm going to try my best to do that very soon, all right, you guys? Other than that, my name is JC Flames. I'm out.